It's one of the most valuable skills that you could ever have. The ability to move people with words. The ability to communicate. Communication. The ability to utilize language in order to communicate an idea or a thought or persuade or to influence. The ability to inform or educate, to teach, to coach, to guide, to mentor, or simply just to make yourself clear so that you can be more effective in dealing with other people. You know, relationships are the foundation for 100% of everything that we do. You know, your jobs, your relationships, uh, your personal relationships, your business relationships, you know, your spirituality, your finances, your uh, career progression, your business endeavors, your entrepreneurialism, everything, it all hinges on relationships and in dealing with people. And when you're dealing with people, it's your communication. That's the key. So let's talk about three, three means of communicating and their effectiveness and their uses. The first is written communication. Now, as fast and expeditious and efficient and convenient as text messaging can be, text messaging also has the capacity to be one of the worst things that has ever happened to human communication. Take, for example, just something written like this. Now, if you were to see that, you would think, well, why? What would I do? <laughs> right? Okay. But then it, maybe if you were just on the telephone and all you heard was, you know, I hate you. And you'd think, well, uh, were you serious? But if you could see someone's face, they go, I hate you. They go, you go, oh, okay, well, they're just playing. It's a figure of speech, right? So understand that the means by which you communicate is significant and it's critical. And that your words written may not come across as well as they might verbally, and they may also not come across even verbally as well as they might face-to-face. -face. So the most effective means, albeit slower and usually less efficient, but the most effective means to communicate is face-to-face -face because over 75% of your communication is nonverbal. Over 75% of what you're saying to someone is not in the words that come out of your mouth. It's in your eyes. It's in your eyebrows. It's in your face. It's in your smile. It's in your posture, right? If you're sitting, if you're sitting like this when you're talking to somebody, that's saying something. If you're sitting like this while you're talking to somebody, that's saying something. If you sit like this when you're talking to somebody, you're communicating something. You see, all of those communicative clues, people don't necessarily have to be educated in what they mean. Instinctively, they know what they mean. And instinctively, they can feel the communication coming from you. So face-to-face -face communication is the most effective in, in getting across truly how you feel about what it is you're saying. Verbal communication is the second most effective, but it's also a little bit faster and somewhat more convenient than face-to-face. -face. Written communication is the fastest, easiest, most convenient, but least effective at conveying emotion and conveying meaning. Written words must often be qualified. Sometimes if you've ever written an email or sent a text message to someone and they took it the wrong way and you had to go back and try to go, no, I didn't mean it that way. It's very, very difficult. We even do that in the spoken language face to face sometimes and it's hard. You can imagine how much harder it is even still when there's no emotion conveyed and when there's nothing but a written word there to go off of. The other thing about written communication is that it's permanent. Once it's gone, it's gone. You can't pull it back, right? Okay, so when you're communicating in business via text message and via email and things like that, you've got to be cautious with your language. But I encourage you, especially if you're in a sales type of business, get face to face with people. It's the very best and most effective way to communicate. Here's the other thing you've got to keep in mind. In your spoken word, even in your written word or your face to face communication, be careful. Don't be lazy in your language. Get a good vocabulary. Use proper grammar. Speak clearly and speak with authority and with confidence. You know, I, 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 I visit with people all the time that say to me, Brian, I don't understand why I'm not, you know, having more success in my business. I'm out there talking to business people about the business endeavor that we're involved in and they're just not picking up on it. And I have to very gently but very clearly communicate to them that they still kind of sound like a college kid when they're speaking because they're using a lot of jargon and a lot of slang and a lot of yeah, dude, and that kind of thing. And when you're talking business, that's just simply not appropriate, right? Sometimes foul language. I'm in the Navy, cursing like a sailor. <laughs> There's some validity to that, okay? And so when I first got involved in business, I had a potty mouth. That's just the truth. Well, I found out I was offending some people and I needed to dial that back. Now, I've got other reasons why I control my language now, but, but, but in the beginning, it was almost purely about business, okay? 
But my point is simply this, poor grammar can sometimes make you sound uneducated. And if you sound uneducated and you're speaking to someone about business or making money or finances, they may feel as though you might not know what you're talking about if you sound uneducated. So as unfortunate and as unfair as that may be for people to judge the book by its cover, they're going to every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Now, this is reality, guys. This is reality. I'd love to be able to tell you, well, you have freedom of expression. You can speak any way you want, and it's not right for people to judge you. And I wish I could tell you that. And, and, and you know what? It's not right necessarily for people to judge you by the language you use or the way that you use that language, but they will. And if you understand that, you can play within the boundaries of that and find yourself having a lot more success in all of your endeavors. Be careful. Be cautious with your communication. Words are a light for your feet, and your communication opens the doorways to abundance in your life. Make it a good weekend, guys, and that's the dose.